just such amazing, unique experiences all throughout China. There was the um, uh, the Mogao Grottoes uh, in, uh, right. in 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 Xinjiang. Uh, really quite amazing to see. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Mogao Grottoes are you know they're ingrained in Chinese culture. You know, it's the Silk Road uh, nexus point where um, Buddhist monks got. Yeah, yeah, right. You were saying that you you like. Buddhism, and you must have a pretty good knowledge of the Mogao Grottoes, right? Uh, I've seen uh, some pictures and videos. It's beautiful. Yeah. All those I mean, paintings. They're, they're amazing. Yeah. All those paintings. And they're all, they each tell a different story of a different time period and a different mm. culture in that time period. Mm. And it just sits there in the middle of the sand, you know, and, and then China is trying its best to maintain it and keep it. And a lot of it had been, you know, some of it had been, you know, ramshackled and, and some of it was, was bleaching because, you know, if you leave stuff out for in, in in nature for too long all those colors end up fading mm. and you can kind of like it's like a window into the world same with the terracotta warriors in in xi'an mm. and, and seeing mm. seeing those i mean that for me i i know that that's a very touristy thing but mm-hmm. but walking amongst those remnants it's just it, mm. that's just that makes my day you know just being able to see and all the different feelings and emotions that went into making each one of those mm. soldiers and horses and archers and and chariots and and you're looking at all of these different people who had all of these different roles in 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 creating this thing for this this person that was you know that was godlike at the time you know and and mm. and you know just china has such a history and it's and it's something that as a, as an American, we have American Indians, but American Indians were so like in touch with the land mm. that although their history goes back quite far, mm. there's not a lot left. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the Chinese history goes back, you know, thousands of years, and it's still you can see those thousands of years. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you can see them still. You know, and uh, and I, so I mean, speckled across China, you can see the remnants of their culture throughout so many different uh, uh, steps and different uh, uh, dynasties, and you can see the evolution of the culture. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I could go on and on about wonderful different experiences and places, and but a lot of it's wrapped around people as well. You know, mm-hmm. meeting mm-hmm. the different people, and you know, the roadside stand that that's making uh, you know some fried rice mm. or. or chow mein mm-hmm. or something and you're just going and and partaking in what probably some people would think is garbage food you know but i'm looking it's at it like it's the best i know you know they're Lutai. the real thing i used thing. to call it lutai <laughs> yeah 